What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you are an SMMA owner in 2022 and you're looking for more tactics for client outreach and obviously closing deals through not just the phone, but DM as well, I want to show you just some of these chats that I'm able to close and the kind of verbiage that I'm using, the kind of outreach. Um, and most of the time, it really just requires me posting a simple story where I would say something like, um, you know, hey, looking for three people, you know, looking for three local business owners who want to increase their lead flow and sales in the next 30 days. Um, you know, this case study, I'm only taking three people. You're going to get, you know, we're going to run your ads for you, your landing page, your, you know, your sales automations, your emails and SMS, your appointment reminders, all that stuff. And the other thing that we're going to do for you is we're going to make sure that you could predict predictably get X amount of booked calls or appointments every single month. Okay. And I'm only taking on these three people, um, who want to achieve this in the next 30 days. If you opt into this case study, just 50% off today only. And it's a simple story like that. And it could just be really small text. It could just say like looking for three business owners, get X amount of leads a day, get X amount of book calls a day, get sales automations ad management, you know, video scripts, all that. And then just say 50% off today only DM me the word scale or DM me the word lead um, or DM me the word case study to get in now. Okay. And I'm only taking on the, these three people. It's specificity. It's a very good offer. Now, once those people obviously will message you whatever word that is, and I'll show you another example, but this is kind of a conversation that I had um, with this guy, Edwin. I'm not going to disclose his business name, but he basically runs a, you know, landscaping company. Okay. So he replied to one of my stories one day when the hate don't work, they start telling lies. Like, I guess I post something about like people putting hate on my YouTube video or whatever. And I just said facts. And then he randomly just responded to me because I nurture most of my leads through organic content. That's really how I get a lot of clients. I push out so much content and I'm comfortable behind the camera to where I can get more people in the ecosystem who trust me. And all content is, it's just like, it's the ability for people to trust you more. That's really all it is. Um, and he says, you know, don't mean to bother because he knows my time's valuable. So I can tell that he's a, like, he understands, but do you work with landscaping companies? I'm not a huge company doing six figures and I want to bring seven, see a lot of e-commerce in your videos. I really want to take it to the next level and been thinking about signing up with you. So he's like, I have to nurture the lead now. I know that I can close this guy through DM because of this kind of message and his like, his seriousness. Yeah, we work with a lot of lead gen. I just had a custom kitchen cabinet client last week and he already closed a 7K deal. I love to work with you, man. What's your monthly revenue? And then I hit him with the qualifying questions. You know, for someone like this, we would put them in our startup program, which is like an LTV Ascension, like where we put them to Ascension program after. I'm obviously not going to get into that. That's like kind of like my concrete business model, but we start them off at a smaller fee because then we try to get, you know, um, you know, more money down the road. And that's kind of how I've played my entire game is LTV based. Now we have another program that's mostly for people who are already making seven figures. Um, I would say over 500 K a year is where they would qualify for my DFY, which is my private client services, which are like, you know, over four or five K a month. Um, but this is where I start them off in my startup program. So are you willing to spend this amount of discounted rate? Like it's like an incentive. Um, you have a great website, man. I love to scale your business Def differently. I'm doing about 25 to 30 a month, 10 month season. Okay. Okay. Then you can afford this perfect fit. He says, yes. Okay. And are you willing to spend $50 a day on ads, which isn't included? So I make that expectation. I, you know, I've been sold a lot of dreams, but I've been seeing a lot, you, a lot of Facebook, IG, YouTube. You seem like you stand behind your work. Well, yeah. Well, what's the results I will see with that. My success rate is hundred percent, but I only pitch people. I'm confident if you're making 5k a month and had a crap website, I'd step away. In landscaping, you know, we get about 15 to 35 dollar leads. Oh, okay. And the 1500 includes everything on the invoice. And I sent the link now. And then just for transparency, it does include website SEO. I'm using a company and they build the website. I just put all the deliverables from the invoice right here. Website SEO we can throw in, but your site will rank bigger, better with page ad traffic automatically. You already have your metadata ranked and your meta titles on your SEO. So with more traffic, you'll rank higher. You have a website that ha that you know you already have a company that does good websites. And SEO, but doesn't run paid ads means they just do the groundwork stuff. I use the, uh, I use the offer just that when I was broke. Like I used to sell that offer when I was broke. What I was saying is like, you can't just work with somebody who does SEO and website design. That's not going to make you money. Yes, they do. They're not doing right by me. And I'm thinking of leaving them. I have them doing ads, but I got no results. And then I go into kind of like the results that I've gotten. Um, you know, I've scaled these amount of brands. I got this amount of client accounts. We got this amount of team members, this amount of month of payroll. You know, um, which is probably fuzzed out. 
I'm not convincing people anymore. You sign up or not. This is where I kind of play the game of like, listen, man, like I really don't need you to tell me that I'm good because you have to come to me. Like I'm not going to be a bitch to you. Um, I get three to four referrals a day, man. You either have here to win or kick the rock down the road. Um, I'll not, you know, I will not let someone pay that invoice unless they understand the expectations. And yes, you should own the assets to the site. I like the site, but you need traffic. Yes, definitely. Let me give you some insight. I was talking about like my business. You know, you want to scale paid ads is the way. Here's the cabinet guy from last week. I took a screenshot from Slack, sent it to him. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, sometimes it's the fear of losing. I said, oh, that's a fallacy. You have to lose the game. And then I kind of relate to him because he's from New York. I'm like, hey, you're from New York. So am I. I was from Newburgh, hard city, not much money. Here's some recent results I grabbed from chats. And literally all these are recent chats because the time frame on the top left-hand corner. So I pull all these results. You know, he says he's heard of my town. I said, this guy, we had to stop his ads because we made him 500K a month in funding clients. Um, and then I have a bunch of other screenshots from clients raving. So yeah, those are results. If you want to sign up, just say yes and we'll get it going. And he says, let me get on the phone with this company tomorrow. First thing about the website, I'm trying to do it to get, because a lot of people will say like, hey, let me go talk to this person. Let me go do this. I'll get to you tomorrow. It's like, dude, you're going to keep ro- kicking the rock down the road. And I said, yes, I can do it, man. Google my business. We run the ads from it and do the map citations to rank faster. Honestly, I don't have the time to go back and forth about what we can do. There's nothing I can't do. Just make the decision. I got other people who are paying right now. You want high, higher rankings? Done. Ads done. Help website design? Done. Okay, great. I'm going to go with you guys. We'll do you soon as I get off the phone with them. I said, then lock your spot in now. We can help with the site, host it on Wix, and we can build it using the site you have now. We can move the entire design to Wix, and you'll have it in a week. You know, and that's the kind of service you can provide because what they're using right now is WordPress. That's not really crazy scalable. I hate WordPress sites. Wix allows you to have lead gen as well with it, and it just has a lot more automations from Zapier. Fill this out for onboarding. Okay, fill out the info, then book your onboarding call, then download the Slack app on iPhone for free and join your client chat. And that's when I obviously knew that he put the payment through because it makes an automatic client chat and it has his name there. So he knows he's like signed up, I said, love it. Just fulfill. I'm looking forward to working with you guys taking the next level. We'll do that now. Really looking forward to this. Like that's why basically, you know, I take them down the road where you just take care of their objections. Like if you take care of their objections with deliverables, they're not going to leave the chat. They're not going to go somewhere else. It's hard for somebody to get a deliverable through chat and like not at least be enticed to go to that next step. And that's like important to understand because when people chat, you're just trying to sell when you're not really trying to sell, you're trying to relieve them of their current issues. You have to know what they're currently struggling with or going through and then, you know, kind of agreeing with them that it's not the right solution and then giving them the right solution because people like to be agreed with. Okay. Because if they're struggling, they're having problems, like they want to play the victim card. And when they play the victim card, you kind of have to just agree with them to keep them in the ecosystem and keep them in the conversation. So I hope this chat, like kind of gave you some relativity to what you should be doing as far as deliverables being a little pushy is okay. That's sales. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like comment and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.